I'm Kate, I live in San Francisco. I'm a um, self-taught makeup artist and I would say I started learning makeup growing up in Arizona. I was like a really awkward teenager as we probably all are being involved in this show and video uh, and would just sit in front of the mirror and kind of play with makeup, um, contouring on my face, transforming myself, doodling on my face, changing myself into something to escape who I was and what my life was like back then because I thought it was horrible. I moved to San Francisco about 13 years ago and kind of didn't really know anybody here and the drag world just kind of like took me in under their wing. Uh, there are a whole group of people that um, also use makeup to transform themselves to escape who they are or to be somebody else and I also at this time learned that there was such a person as a faux queen which is a, someone that walks around during the day identifying as a woman and yet at night can perform these different female archetypes um, to work out whatever their issues are. I certainly have my own gender issues, that's what brought me to drag. Um, there's also drag kings. I'm also a drag king. That's a, a female identified person that performs as a male character. I also I dress myself up as animals, I dress myself up as creatures, aliens, insects. Um, and that's became a way of for me to express myself. I went to film school, I learned what kind of makeup looks good on camera. I learned more, I, I learned, I also studied sculpting in, in art school. Um, a few years ago, about four and a half years ago now, I became a flight attendant and discovered my other passion in life. I thought I hated people before becoming a flight attendant. A lot of people probably think it goes the other way around. You become a flight attendant and then you hate people. But I actually learned that I like people. I like serving people. Not necessarily Diet Coke, but whatever, if that's what they want. And, um, but then I started combining my, okay, I like serving, working with people, helping people. I like this transformative thing. So then I became a makeup artist for other people as well. I do a lot of makeup for corporate video. I've done some stuff for National Geographic. That was cool. I made a severed head for John the Baptist. Um, so I got into prosthetics. I already had the sculpting background. I already, I know how to color match really well. I know how to blend and I know and I care about transforming people into something else. Like I love seeing the look in someone's eye when they are looking in the mirror or they feel like they can express themselves in a different way. And for me, having gone to film school, not being in face on this is probably the hardest thing for me to do. But here I am um, doing the best I can auditioning for this and I'm excited to show you a pros original prosthetic I made on my friend. I wanted to create a fantasy character that had elements of glamour and gore. I decided on a dove hybrid and was inspired to create it as an homage after the recent death of a musical icon who inspired drag performers and all kinds of other people. First I made a life cast of my model Shelly's face. Then I sculpted with oil clay and created the prosthetic by stippling with liquid latex. I created a dove-esque beak and a feathery flourish around the left eye. I prepared my model by making sure her face and neck were clean and using Thayer's Witch Hazel and Cetaphil Facial Moisturizer. After hiding the hair under a wig cap, I began covering her eyebrows using an Avery glue stick and pressing in Makeup Forever HD powder. Then it was time to place the prosthetic, making sure it was lined up correctly, and apply it using Mastic Spirit Gum. I used a disposable sponge tip applicator to make sure the edges of the prosthetic didn't fold over and were flush with the skin. I used a little Mastix remover to clean the edges and extra spirit gum away. Using Kryolan Super Color in white number 70, I began applying my base color to Shelly's face. Neck, ears, chest, and prosthetics were also covered, and then set by using more of the Makeup Forever HD powder. Since this is a glamorous dove, I used the Urban Decay Electric Palette Colors Slow Burn and Urban around the eyes. I added jewels to the nostrils on the beak, and then feathers on the beak and around the left eye. More powder adds color to the contours of the prosthetic. 
For the gore element, I used eyelash yarn and eyelash glued it to the left side of the beak prosthetic. I used eyelash glue to glue some eyelashes as well, and Ben Nye glitter glue to glue red glitter onto the eyelids and yarn. Finishing touches are a platinum lioness wig, pinned in place, super color, and feathers on the hands, Krylon eye blood in the eyes, Krylon aqua color design in white around the eyes, some Krylon film blood, and a foppish costume. My model is now the icon inspired dove homage I had envisioned. I had a lot of fun on this video and I hope all of the beautiful ones have enjoyed watching as well. Thank you. Picture of you and I